What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about Gfinity, a little recap about what happened over there. So a lot of you guys know we play second, uh, we're two rounds away from beating OG off the gaming. And unfortunately, you know, we couldn't close, our SD game has been pretty weak all, all weekend. You know, we, due to lack of practice and mainly because of that, but also, you know, we could have performed better, but we didn't. And it's all good, you know, it happens. I felt like a huge reason uh, we didn't play so well in SD was a, a huge amount of lack of practice. You know, we only had one day of practice. They came back from ESWC, we had league matches for one night, and then unfortunately we had to leave Wednesday afternoon, so we couldn't play anymore. We had one day of practice, and you know, we only played SD about two games that day. Two, like, two, two three SD games, I believe one of them went to game five, and you know, it just sucks. You know, the fact that we played and no SD practice, and SD has a lot to do with chemistry and practice because. The more you play with a squad, the more you realize what works, what doesn't work. Uh, this push, we always do successful. Uh, this push isn't. You know, stuff like that. It's a lot of yes, no, errors, fixing your errors. And, you know, we didn't have that. So our SD game wasn't too good. Uh, the only reason we won SDs or even came close to was just the clutching factor, especially the clutching factor that Aqua and Nagafin bring to the squad. You know, they're really clutch. They're really smart with the team. And it helps us. it helped us a lot, you know. But I want to say I'm really proud of the squad. Uh, they played really great. Uh, we could have played better in finals. I know Aix didn't play too well the first map. Uh, I didn't play too well in the SNDs. I played average, and I remember dropping a donut, which I'm not too happy about, because that's the first donut I've dropped since the longest. Since MOG Columbus first event, I dropped a donut, and this has been the second time ever. Like counting online, on land, like this is the second time I dropped a donut. And you know, they're just countering me. You know, I don't want to make excuses, but you know, I, it happened. And. Either way, we won that series, but, you know, we could have played, we didn't play 2-1 on SD. I could have played a little better, you know, this is a new squad, I'm trying to figure out how to play with them, you know, they, they like doing their own thing, so I like letting them do that, so I gotta figure out, like, kind of how to maneuver around the map, how to work with them, uh, you know, I love how they play SD. I love their aggressive, how aggressive they are, I love how clutch they are, so I don't mind doing that, so that's what I've been really trying to work at this event, and Hopefully, you know, we have two days of practice now. We have today, uh, Wednesday, we have some league matches. And then Thursday, I believe we're not going to be playing. So we have two days. So that's going to be an extra two days. We know we're going to get some SND and some more SND in. Maybe go over a little bit of things. So that should definitely help going to UMG Cali. <sighs> yeah, guys, but like I said, I'm really proud of the squad. Nagafin and Aqua, great players, you know, really clutch, really beast. I love, I love that we're, I'm playing with them. I love that they're on the team. Uh, you know, Aix played really good this weekend. He only at finals, he played okay, but, you know, overall, he played amazing. You know, I'm really happy with his performance. Uh, next time in finals, hopefully we can all play better. And, you know, I played pretty good this weekend as well. A lot of you guys watched me play. I was doing extremely well in respawn. Definitely my strong suit right now. Uh, I just know, you know, positioning, maneuvering around the map, you know, where to be at, where to be at certain times. Like, I'm just really good with that from playing a lot and, you know, learning and just reading my opponents and I'm really happy with my performance like I said the only thing I'm not too happy about is SD I definitely could have played better but either way I'm so happy that we play second with one day of practice you know I was really looking forward to getting first I really wanted that first place and the thing is a lot of people probably had this feeling before I don't know but when you're so close to getting first and you lose by a round or two rounds and you know you could have done better on this map or that map it literally haunts you it was running through my mind all night when we lost it was running through my mind, 10 hour flight on my way back home. You know, it just runs through my mind and like it eats me alive. And I hate that feeling. I hate it so much. And that's what drives me more. That's what makes me want to win more. And it just eats me alive, guys. You have no idea. I wish I would have played better this round or I would have done something different that round. But, you know, I can only think about it so much because I know deep inside it's eating me alive. And I'm, just, you know, beating myself up when I should just let it go. It's over. You know, focus on the next event. That's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm kind of over it, not exactly, but you know, I'm, I'm working with it. So, UMG Cali is coming up, and with the performance of my team this weekend, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a, definitely a hard event, you know, it's going to be a lot more American teams, and it's going to be a challenge, you know, it's nothing's going to be easy, but we're just going to go hard as we did, you know, we're going to play our asses off, we're going to try our best, and hopefully we can take first. I'm really looking forward to putting on a show and just play out of our minds. I love playing Call of Duty, I love playing this game. Uh, just it's very fast paced. It fits my play style. I love being aggressive, you know, rushing around, double jumping, and just raping kids. I want to thank all the supporters at Gfinity. A lot of you guys approached me. Thank you for uh, everything for the support. You guys are awesome, and all the support we had all weekend. 
even from Twitter, the fans, uh, everybody at the event, at the venue. And it's just really awesome. You know, I love the support. Appreciate the guys who, who support Prof. You know, Prof Live, baby. Also, I wanted to say, a lot of you guys have been downing me recently. A lot of you guys think I probably suck or because I haven't won an event yet or because I'm placing top 8, top 12. And you guys don't know. It's a team effort. You know, in the end of the day, you could play out of your mind. For example, a lot of people are saying how Scump, you know, plays good every map on at Champs and he was playing amazing, yet they still play 7th. You know, you can play out of your mind as much as you want, sometimes it's just not enough. And it's really affecting me and I'm really happy to have this squad where I don't have to play out of my mind every single game. I could go off one game and then Aqua goes off the next game. And then Ace goes off the third game. And as long as I'm being consistent and they're going off, it just allows us to win easy, easily and it just becomes easy for me. I've never felt like... You know, I've always been on good teams, and this team, I finally feel like I'm on a very strong good team. I feel like I don't always have to go off to win. I could go off, like, uh, you know, decent go off, you know, drop 35 kills, have two three pieces and a hard point, you know, had some good plays, and that's it. And then I see Aqua, he, he drops a 40 bomb with me, and he, he had some good plays, and boom, we win. Like, it's so much less pressure, and I'm just ha so happy to have such a talented team. You know, I was placed in the top 5 KD. I don't really like counting players that only played like 9-10 maps. I believe uh, Proofy and Clayster had like 9-10 maps. And then me, Skump, Skump and Formal, I think, uh, had 19 maps and were both... They were 1.23, I was 1.19. But you know, it's, I'm so glad to be performing the way I am. You know, I've, I've been playing really good recently at pretty much every event. The only thing is I, don't, I get overlooked because of bad placings. And stuff like that, but hopefully that will be no more. So before I go, shout out to Gfinity. They were awesome. You know, shout out to Martin and Warren. These guys are awesome. They helped a lot with the producing of the, the event and everything. And you know, Gfinity, they're a great group of people. You know, they supported us, they helped us, you know, they treated us perfect. And I, I couldn't be happier to attend their events. You know, really look forward to the next one. And I also want to say congrats to Optic. You know, they got first. Congrats to Scump, Formal, Krim, and Enable who was filling in for them. As much as me and Krim have like a small beef, which I don't really care for it anymore. I just hate losing to him because, you know, he has a big mouth. But other than that, you know, uh, congrats to them. They they played great all weekend. And we were so close to beating them. But fortunately, you know, we couldn't. It happens. Uh, I'm just going to keep working, work harder, practice for the next event. And hopefully I can take it. And, you know, it's congrats to Optic Gaming for first. And I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. This has been a Gfinity recap. And I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.